Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, cost the child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news from update where a big, big, big announcement from Flamingoland in Malton, North Yorkshire. Work has restarted, well not restarted, but re-undertaken on the site of Inversion, which is the 10 looping roller coaster now likely to open for the 2022 season. Now I've got some details to share with you, but via forum posts from diff various different forums, can't name them all, but various different forums uh, that's been reported on now, and uh, different photos that I've seen as well. Um, I can't put any of the photos up on screen because they are obviously you know, very blurred from what I've seen, so I want to be able to just get some overall pictures from past site views. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of where we were at before the restart of the work and uh, also share my thoughts on the restart of work and also share my thoughts on the project itself because I think it's it's been a while since I've shared my thoughts on this coaster so any new viewers that don't know my thoughts about this can uh, listen in close. Uh, so before we get started guys please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions and subscribe if you are new around here, click the case bell see this YouTube video, we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers we're just under 500 subs uh, away now, which is unbelievable. We're also uh, three quarters of the way towards, uh, well, we're, we're three quarters of a million views totalized. Uh, so we're only got a quarter of the way to go, which is unbelievable. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what is going on with the restart of work on Inversion at Flamingoland in Malton, North Yorkshire, most likely to open in spring 2022. So this has been done over the last 24 hours, but the latest post from Theme Park Insanity states that work is set to be restarting and work is continuing on, uh, re on the work on Inversion steadily. After recently picking back up again on the site, have it delayed new edition inversion. With ground crews seen pouring concrete and working on the ride's overall landscaping. Crews have also been recently seen working in and around the troughs for the dives in and out of the Cobra Roll. This is really positive and could be potentially pointing to an on-target spring 2022 opening as previously rumoured. So that is what was spoken about. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the coaster and my thoughts on the brand new work taking place around the site for the potential opening of spring 2022 for inversion. And that is the iron and O replaced with the 10 to signal 10 loops. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coaster Chow speaking here on Flamingoland's brand new 10 looping coaster with work restarting on the site. Uh, now, very exciting stuff there. First of all, the work in progress. Uh, obviously, the concrete being poured into the landscape of the area of the ride. Uh, and obviously, the work in, in the troughs for the Cobra Roll. Great to see the work being done there. Um, you know, there was always these rumours about if the, if the track was going to be completely repainted, whether it was going to be all grey, sections of grey, there was all these controversy and, and speculation going on about that, um, so obviously it would be interesting to see if they do paint the entire ride, which is very likely to happen probably. Um, now obviously in terms of new viewers that haven't seen my thoughts on the coaster yet, you're probably going to want to listen to my thoughts on the coaster. I will just sum it up by saying I think this is a great signature roller coaster for the UK and a great signature roller coaster for Flamingoland, especially Flamingoland. You know, Flamingoland, they used to have a couple of temporary signature roller coasters, the Bullet and Magnum Force were two big ones uh, before the likes of Kamali came along, Mumbo Jumbo came along. Hero. <laughs> I'm joking, that's not a signature coaster at all. Uh, Velocity, of course, came along. You know, those are the those are the three big ones, I guess. Kamali, Velocity, and Mumbo Jumbo. And obviously you had the corkscrew in the end, and then obviously that when there was all these rumours in 2012 or around the 2012 sort of time uh, for a children's play area to be installed on the side of the corkscrew. But now we've got this 10 looping coaster stretched across the former temporary car park or part of the temporary car park area and of course the corkscrew site and stretching from from there to there removing all these classic rides uh, relocating a couple of uh, kids rides as well so 
you know, a couple of rides biting the dust like the cycle monorail, uh, a couple of rides being relocated like the old teacups and things like that. So, you know, obviously a few rides either being relocated or biting the dust for this. So, you know, obviously this is going to be a wonderful investment for the Flamingo Land Park and I think a wonderful investment for the UK as well. And think of it, 2022 could be an even bigger year for the UK because Southport Pledgeland is going to get this brand new Zampilla Thunderbolt coaster next year. Um... Obviously, you've got preparations. It's going to be exciting to watch for Chessington for their 2023 coaster, their launch B&M wing coaster, uh, shuttle wing coaster. Um, of course, any other investments that pop up over 2022 in the UK, we'll check them out. Um, and it's going to be a really exciting thing to watch. So, uh, massive shout out to Flamingo for the work being done so far, restarting up again, and we'll see what happens. Finger, fingers crossed. Now I'm starting work uh, tomorrow. Uh, well. It, by the time you're watching this, I will have started work today. Um, but as I'm recording this tomorrow, on the, uh, for the Monday, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, now that I'm starting work, I can um, hopefully get be able to get down there in March 2022 to Flamingoland and uh, see the opening of this coaster. So, uh, big up Flamingoland for the work. There we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for more, my name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an inversion-tastic day. Power of 10. Trust me. <laughs> the new power of 10.